Seriously guys, a thumb brass? Let's talk about it. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia and today I'd like to share with you a few hints about how to take the best out of your like a to camera because it comes quite naked I have to say out of the box and there are a few aspects that can be improved with just small money you don't need big and expensive accessories but let's see together we will tackle them one by one so you know what to expect and how to improve the handling of this beautiful camera to avoid to transform it, it into a camping car because it has to be very portable lightweight you have to keep it as an EDC you don't want to make it bigger and bulkier and heavier so if you're ready let's go rolling so all right here it comes the camera as it is out from the box from the capture the only thing that i didn't change is the strap because it's too much work so i didn't put the original back and i got this artisan and artist because it's textile so i found an offer and i just needed a smooth one so i have the chance to preserve and to keep away the original and now with the strap i wanted a textile one because most of the times i just wrap it around my wrist and so it's safer to use it like that i can hold it and it's safe so in case i drop it it would not fall down while with the leather one it was too long and too bent and so this is the only thing that i'm not showing you but apart from that let's move forward and the original lid only can be mounted on the lens hood which is very narrow or if you don't want the hood, you can use the ring provided by Leica. I'll show you very quickly right now. The ring is a better option if you intend to use the filters because with the hood, which is very narrow, it's hard to remove and to mount the filters. While with this ring, of course, you won't have any hood, but you can use filters and you can keep using the cap as a lens protection. What did I do? I changed it, so I just removed everything and I got a different lens hood. I was able to find this lens hood from Limbs, which is, in my opinion, a good choice because it's nice looking, reminding the rangefinder ones. But the best thing out of it is that you can mount very easily and remove the filters because it's wider in the front. As you can see, the thread is accessible very, very easily. I'm using ND filters much more than CPL and UV filters, but it is where it is. I'm using ND mostly when I'm shooting videos. Well, if you missed the episode about filters, feel free to find the link out here. The ones that I'm using, I'm these from Gobi. Now they went to rebrand and you can find them under the name Yurt. And they are very convenient because they are lightweight and compact and they are just screwed into one another and so you can have them always with you in your EDC bag. As simple as that, you just, you just screw them away, the one that you intend to use and then you put it in front of your camera. As you can see, it's very easy to mount them with this lens hood that I am using. The other one was too narrow in the front to make it accessible. And then, what about the top of the camera? Since this is very sleek and I have big hands, I needed some way to hold it properly. And so, first thing that I found was this thumb rest from JJC. This one from the camera is not deep enough for me. There are valid alternatives, so I got this one from JJC. It doesn't have to be the original from Leica because it's very, very expensive. And I find that JJC provides a very good alternative. Quick and cheap, you just mount it into the hot shoe and it will help you have a steadier grip on the camera. But since this is not enough for me, I tried using it, but after a while, it's a bit tiring. I wanted to have a proper grip and i found this one also from jjc most important thing and this is why i chose it is that you have the openings to have accessible both the sd cards and the battery so once you mount it you don't want to take it 
in and out anytime you need to charge the battery or remove the SD card, right? So we do it together, it's just a very easy one screw thing. And then you secure it to the camera. Once it's mounted, as you can see, it's a totally different grip. So you can keep it in your hand all day long and it doesn't get you tired at all. It's very convenient. So you just wrap the strap around the wrist and this also has an Arca Swiss mount integrated. It's very convenient because if you have an Arca Swiss tripod like I do, you don't have to spend time to settle and to adjust. It's very convenient to mount it. And then since we changed the hood, we also need to protect the lens, right? So I went looking for a new lens cap, just a few dollars. This is from Breakthrough Photography. Basically, this is a recyclable lens cap that goes in very easily. I purchased the couple because you never know. I don't want to secure it to the camera, but it might get lost. And so I just purchased the couple. So as you can see, with a few dozen dollars, we completely changed the look and feel of the camera with the cap, hood, grip, and if you still have a few dollars left, I warmly suggest you purchase a second spare battery so you will never run out of juice. So with that, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it on social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos to come, and I guess I will see you later. Thank you. Bye.